Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're living in Japan or about to start your life in Japan in a while, uh, you must be knowing that the interest rates in Japanese banks are really low, around 0.1%. So which means that if you invest around 100,000 yen or around 750 US dollars, you will probably be getting 100 yen back uh, at the end of the year as interest, which is naturally a disappointing number also investing has been shown to give you returns of around 10 percent uh, annually so investing in japan is also a lucrative option i believe so if you're anyone like me you must have considered about the different ways of investing in japan and you might have come across different challenges like language barrier or some technicalities that you couldn't understand so this this video is perfect for you because i have been in the same place and uh, i understand where your what your uh, issues are and this video is kind of a complete beginners tutorial to help you out and get you started with your investing journey in japan so please be sure to watch this video until the very end because i have some step-by-step uh, -step processes and tips to help you get your investment journey started here okay so i've divided this video into three parts one is investing in the stock market another is investing in crypto and the third one is investing in real estate also i would just like to give you a bit of a disclaimer that this is just my journey and not some financial advice i'm just here to share my journey so that it can serve as a reference for your uh, investing journey in japan so with that being said, uh, please enjoy this video and hopefully you find some value out of it. Okay, so let's get started with the first one which is investing in stock market. So in my experience, I have used uh, two of the largest online brokerage firms which are SBI Shokin and Rakuten. But personally, most of my assets are in Rakuten Shokin. So I have more experience with Rakuten Shokin. Uh, you can invest not only in Japanese companies, but also in US companies like Tesla, Johnson Johnson, Starbucks, etc. However, there's a, there's a small difference that for Japanese companies, you can only buy 100 stocks at a time. You cannot buy like one stock. You can buy one stock or like uh, individual stocks maybe through other um, brokerage firms um, like PayPay or Line but those generally have higher fees so yeah I prefer to use uh, Rakuten Shokin or SBI Shokin for my um, investments. You can also invest in index funds like S&P 500 using Toshi Shintaku which is basically the Japanese name for index funds that mirror the S&P 500 and have very low expense ratios. Some of the popular ones are uh, Emaxis, Zenbei, uh, which is the S&P 500. Then there's another one called Rakuten, Zenbei, Index Fund. Um, then also like uh, Zen Sekai. So this is an index fund for all of the countries, uh, including in US and other countries. So different funds like that. Besides the index fund or uh, Tohi Shindaku, you can of course invest in individual stocks or ETFs like uh, VTI, I think, which is popular in the US, uh, and individual stocks like Tesla, Johnson and Johnson, Starbucks, etc. However, there's some bad news for owning American stocks or ETFs. It's that uh, if you have if you have stocks which produce a dividend, like Starbucks or Johnson and Johnson, etc., you will be taxed twice. So once you'll be taxed by the U.S. and then again you'll be taxed in Japan. So I think 10% in U.S. and 20%. 20.3% in Japan so altogether yeah there's a hefty tax of 30% on the dividend income and for Japanese stocks you are taxed at 20% flat 
speaking of tax you also have uh, tax advantage accounts in japan like nisa and sumitate nisa there's also something called idco but i'm not sure about that so if anybody knows more information about that please add it in the comments below thank you so much so uh, nisa is like a short term tax advantage account which is tax free uh, for 6 years and has a limit of uh, 1.2 million yen per year whereas sumitate nisa is tax free for 20 years but has a limit of only 40 400000 yen per year for most people i think for me like, for most people like me who are foreigners and are not completely sure about how long they're going to stay in japan they can opt for the nisa account and uh, yeah they can opt for the nisa account and basically whenever they are investing they'll of course have a brokerage account which is the account created by the brokerage uh, like rakuten and have the uh, tax advantage account and another side so two accounts basically and uh, they have the freedom to choose either to buy through the tax advantage account or through the standard broker's account brokerage account now here are some really important tips from my experience which will help you get your investment account created quickly first get your my number card created uh, along with the residence card your my number card is extremely important for a personal identification and speeds up the creation of your account as well uh, to create a num- my number card just head on to your nearest ward office and start the process it normally takes 2 to 3 weeks uh, and if you have your my number card already it's a great thing you can start right away also make sure that you're not changing your house address anytime soon when you're doing this process or you can choose on the application process at a time when you have settled down settled into your new house because addresses are kind of a issue in Japan especially in these financial institutions and you have to keep your address updated uh, and any anomaly between the different addresses might cause some issue so yeah that's another tip another one is make sure your name is consistent across the different accounts um not only the the uh, roma ji or the english alphabet but also the katakana or the japanese alphabet uh before you start the application just have a quick check to see that your details are matching with your residence card your my number card as well as your uh, bank account which you are going to uh, which you have or which you are going to create otherwise yeah these things uh, might take more time and yeah it will basically delay your account creation and the uh, rakuten shoken home page and if i translate it becomes english and you can see this is the account opening option and uh, yeah it's quite easy there are two options one is if you're a rakuten member and if you're not a rakuten member so yeah you can go both ways basically it consists of entering your mail id uh your mail confirmation your personal identity confirmation and then your information entry so yeah i think this you can do on your own i would recommend going first registering your information as a rakuten member because you can use other features like rakuten card and rakuten bank which decreases some fees when you're transferring to and from your savings and brokerage account but uh, yeah if you're not a rakuten member then you can just select this enter your email and then yeah go ahead with the registration Okay next let's talk about crypto but before talking about crypto i'd like to show you a magic trick 
So here's some money. And here is the magic box. So I put my money here. Shake it. And wow, the money disappeared. This is it. this is what crypto is like. Back to business. So for crypto, I personally use the Bitflyer app. But I've heard that the CoinCheck app is also a favorite among people in Japan. In Japan, the crypto regulations are quite strict and only a few coins are actually available for purchasing, which uh, kind of reduces your options. However, it also means that the dodgy coins, which are a bit unsafe, are screened away. So it's, so it's at least a bit safer for you as the consumer. But Speaking of safe, I just as a disclaimer, I have sold all of my crypto because I bought it when it was at its peak and lost more than half of its value. So I lost a lot. Like uh, so, yeah, that was why I deleted, all, removed all of my crypto. <coughs> yeah. So for Bitflyer, um, actually, uh, so I've only used Bitflyer and um, the process is quite easy and electronically configurable so you can just uh, put a screenshot of your residence card i didn't have my my number card then so just the residence card and uh, the identity id verification will complete and after that you can also add your bank account details and uh, yeah you're done crypto is actually less of a hassle i feel yeah bitfly has like a nice interface and as you can see like there are only few currencies available uh, like bitcoin xrp ethereum very few compared to the crypto market finally real estate unfortunately i don't have the experience in this regard because i don't have the money nor the experience to uh, handle real estate in japan oh my god wow and not only japan actually my home country india as well i did consult to a japanese real estate agent once before and he said that japan uh, in Japan, the assets are not really valuable in terms of value appreciation. Um, in fact, the houses, um, you know, lose value over time. It's only the land which is like holding the value. Um, and it should be looked more as like a source of rental income rather than a, a appreciable asset. If you're interested to look into Japanese real estate and see how you know costly things are and if you plan to spend your like if you plan to spend your life here with your family then definitely I would recommend checking out uh, at home or Kenbia or Rakumachi uh, like I can show you here and uh, enter your address enter your area and you can definitely find uh, properties and get an idea of the uh, of how, what um, it's uh, what it costs but I would also argue that um, the 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 price shown in the portal is actually the lowest price because there are other hidden fees as well the small nitty-gritty fees and I think those things are also kind of pile those things also kind of pile up on each other and uh, ultimately make it more expensive so definitely uh, would advise you to try different real estate agents and try talking with different people so that you understand the uh, ac the picture better and make the decision then instead of just going ahead and buying straight away with uh, after talking to just one uh, person so yeah that's definitely uh, one advice i can give you so yeah there's definitely a lot of people out there who know more than me so 
if any one of you has more uh, knowledge on this topic uh, please share your knowledge in the comments thank you so much so yeah friends that's all i have for now um, that's all i know and i'm interested to know if this information was uh, valuable to you if you did find that it was valuable please leave a like or a comment and please consider subscribing to this channel so if i get more information i'll definitely try to keep you updated but i hope you can take this information and start your investment journey in japan which i think is more valuable uh, to just start and yeah best of luck see you in the next video bye